and avoid shutdowns. This is what the numbers say today, <clears throat> which we're not quite sure what it means, uh, but we're studying it. Statewide positivity without microcluster 7.8. Statewide positivity with microclusters 8.3. That is uh, an increase from the 5.9 seven-day average. Uh, positivity in microclusters 9% and 124,000 tests taken. This is a jump from uh, Friday, Saturday to Sunday. Uh, now, uh, Friday was Christmas. Uh, Sunday is uh, two days after Christmas. Um, we have been talking about potential for spread during Christmas. Uh, for it to go up in two days uh, is dramatic and very, very fast. We want to send a clear signal to the providers that uh, if you violate the law on these vaccinations, we will find out and you will be prosecuted. Uh, I'm gonna sign an executive order that says uh, we're very clear, the vaccines are a priority, there's not gonna be any politics at play as to who gets a vaccine and uh, we look to the CDC, federal government for guidance, uh, and uh, we will not tolerate any fraud in the vaccination process. Anyone who engages in fraud is going to be held accountable. Uh, the executive order I'm going to sign today says a provider could be fined up to a million dollars and revocation of all state licenses. And that will apply to a provider a doctor, a nurse, a pharmacist, any licensed healthcare professional. So if you engage in fraud on this vaccine, we will remove your license to practice in the state of New York. Uh, 